Hello, guys. Today I'm going to make another computer build. It's basically the same. Uh, are in in general are basically the same components as my previous one. Uh, the reason uh, for this video that I'm uh, that I gather some parts and all of that is because uh, I'm trying to test out the differences between the Pentium 4 and the Celeron 2.0 gigahertz. I also have right here the shuttle motherboard with the processor and the uh, and everything installed. It also has the two gigabyte of RAM. Uh, just like the uh, Pentium 4 right here with the Soltec motherboard we do have the uh, GeForce uh, MX uh, 400 right here the AGP 448X TD2V-128D is made that it has 128 uh, uh, megabyte of uh, memory instead of 256 compared to the Pentium 4, the Radeon uh, 9200. We do have the hard drive. There is the uh, Diamond Max Plus 9. Also, uh, this one is smaller than my previous one. This is the 60 gigabyte, ATA slash 133. We do have the DVD burner because uh, it's very important for me to uh, copy the files and uh, as you can see, this DVD looks very nice, in pristine condition, I could say. And we do have the other cables uh, for the floppy uh, 8833 and uh, ATA100 uh, for the hard drives. Uh, this motherboard compared to the Soltec ones from the uh, Pentium 4, it doesn't have the setup ports. So this shuttle motherboard uh, does not have this kind of things. The only thing that it has, it has uh, two IDE, primary and the secondary connector, yeah. Overall, the motherboard looks very nice, to be honest. Uh, it doesn't have any scratch or anything like that, so, yeah. I even look on the back, because it's very important to check if, uh, if it has any scratches. But yeah, what can I say? The components were bought it, uh, from the same seller, and uh, uh, this one was cheaper, however. So yeah. Now uh, I'm going to uh, to try playing uh, some of the games, and of of course I'll I will be adding some uh, some of the other titles that are important for the games for the vintage games, and uh, I'm going to compare the results from the Pentium 4 to uh, Celeron 2.0. Uh, set on at 2 gigahertz pardon and um, since we're using different components uh, of course this one will be inferior to the penny 4 but i'm going to drop down the frequency to to 2 dig uh, to 2 gigahertz instead of 2.4 gigahertz like uh, to the penny 4 and see how it goes yeah so after that uh, i'm going to make the uh, the assembling and uh, put it together and uh, see what kind of results we are getting at so see you, see you in the, uh, in the part of guys. <laughs> 